Great album, classic album, amazing album, fantastic in so many ways. Take from it what you will, listen to it, enjoy it, appreciate it. Pusha T could have given us some pure, just mind-melting cane, but obviously as fans, we're not really on that level with Pusha T, where he hooks us up with the good stuff. So he kind of patted this album out with some baking soda, some baby powder, and said, here you go. I'm feeling a decent strong six on My Name Is My Name. And in, in, in a lot of ways overall, I enjoy it more than My Name Is My Name. Uh, even if there isn't a song on here I think is as great and as hard hitting as numbers on the boards, but who knows, maybe it'll grow on me a little bit more. I'm feeling a strong seven to a light eight on this thing. Sure, the lyrical content, the substantive content is nothing really new for Pusha T. This is pretty much the <laughs> stomping grounds he's been inhabiting for years now. And quite honestly, a record that was longer, but consistently of this quality would have made for a better listen, but still you just kind of have one great lyrical banger after another. Just very good writing, very good flows, very good delivery, very good production, and I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this thing. So to a degree at least, Pusha T still having those consistency problems, those cohesion problems across the length of an entire album. But still, that doesn't take away entirely from the fact that uh, there are some incredible songs here incredible vocal and lyrical performances. Pusha T continues to prove to this day that he is a, a one-of-a-kind rapper, and uh, even if his next project has a few flaws on it and runs just like 20 minutes and, and it takes four years to put out, it's, it's still very much <laughs> going to be well worth the wait because of the uh, amount of personality and talent that he brings to each record. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this one.